Next, we are going to discuss the flushing regimen for central venous catheters. We flush central venous catheters or CVCs every 12 hours or more if indicated. It's best to think of the anatomy related to each of these lines as to the amount of flush that needs to be instilled. So the PIC line, the Hickman line, in the implantable port or porter cath require a 10 ml flush. That is because the lines are either long or surgically implanted and require positive pressure and a larger amount to be instilled. The subclavian triple lumen line only requires 5 ml flush because of the decreased distance from the insertion site to the actual beginning of the SVC, the superior vena cava. So to begin, we're gonna flush the PIC line. So to start, I have a 10 ml sodium chloride flush, and we would flush both of these lumens during our flushing regimen. If one of them has a running line, of course we would not need to flush that. So to begin, I would unclamp the line I would remove my chlorhexidine cap, and if you recall, we do not need to use an alcohol swab to cleanse that. And I would place my flush onto that line. The first thing we need to do is assess for blood return. So to do that, we would pull back slightly on the syringe and assess for blood return. Now, if you do not receive blood return, there are some troubleshooting options that you can do. Um, some of those include the installation of a medication called TPA, and we use a small amount of that to um, bust any clots that might be occluding the line. But to begin, we would assess for blood return. If we see blood return, then we can instill that 10 ml syringe. And slowly. Sometimes you can feel resistance, that's not abnormal, and if you think about the length of the catheter, um, it's not abnormal to feel some slight resistance. We would clamp that, remove, and place a brand new Kiro on the end. When we are flushing the implantable port, we would do the same kind of exercise. Um, if we have accessed this port in a hospital setting, let's say, we would flush every 12 hours with normal saline 10 mLs. Now, if the port has not been accessed, then you have to use a different method. And that method is the installation of a small amount of heparin. Um, we administer this every four weeks to help allow for patency of the line and decrease any clotting of the line that may take place. So we're not generally doing that in the hospital setting because most of the time these are accessed and they're running lines and we're utilizing that excess. But if the patient is home, then it is especially important that that line is heparinized every four weeks. Moving along to the subclavian triple lumen line, we would use a 5 ml normal saline syringe. We would be expected to flush each lumen, again, every 12 hours, unless there is a running line through um, one of those lumens. Important to understand what each lumen um, can have instilled through it to begin the proximal or white lumen. What's best through that? That's best used for blood sampling, IV push medications, and for some they do use this line for blood administration. The distal brown port is used for CVP monitoring. That is a hemodynamic monitoring that is utilized, and we use the distal port because of the uh, close closeness or relation to the right atria. We can also use this for blood administration or colloid medications, medications that are more viscous in nature. And lastly, the medial or that middle, which is a blue port, can be used for TPN um, and medications. Now, if you are anticipating that your patient is going to require TPN therapy, this would be considered a virgin port. What does that mean? 
that port is only used for TPM therapy. So the flushing regimen would be five mLs for each lumen unless there is a running line. For the demonstration today, I'm going to show you through the proximal and the white. So we would unclamp, remove our green chlorhexidine cap. Again, we do not need to cleanse for 15 seconds with an alcohol swab. And we would attach our flush. We would assess for blood return, which you will not see with this mannequin, but we have blood return and then we can administer that 5 ml syringe.